This video clip is a continuation of class 13 on linen fiber production. See, already in the class 13, we have uh, given brief on linen, that is flax plant production, its cultivation and climate requirements and how harvesting is done and how the fiber is extracted from the stem of the plant by the process like rippling, writing, squeezing, drying and breaking. The fibers extract extractions, writing and other this process. Now in this video clip, I am going to explain the further steps that is the spinning. See the fiber, linen fiber, when it is extracted from the flax plant, it is about how much length? This is a big length. Big length means how much? It is not a filament. It is a thread. It is a staple. It is minimum 18 to 30 inches of length of the fiber. It depends upon the, the, the length of the fiber. It depends upon the process handled in cultivation, harvesting, retting and other production process. How much care is taken that much of good quality fiber is taken out. The efficiency of the good fiber taken out. It depends upon the care taken by the production process or process. Okay, once the fibers taken from the stem of the flax plant taken for the spinning process that is yarn manufacturing process the fibers are taken into the spreaders flyers rowing what is this spreaders flyers and rowing like in cotton yarn production there is a preparatory process will be there preparatory process for the spun yarn production that is ring yarn production that is ring frame production spinning process what are the preparatory process in cotton spinning mixing blowing carding drawing combing rowing then to spinning in this process all this loose fibers, linen fibers are spread, taken to the spreaders. How the mixing, the bail is opened and mixed and passed through the blow room. It, the loose form of lumps of the cotton is taken the form of sheet that is called lap in cotton. Like that here the spreader. The cotton or linen, the flax fibers, linen fibers are spread and taken into a sheet form and those spreaders are then again uh, next process called sliver like in cotton carding is there drawing is there to make the tau to, or rope form of the sliver sliver is a rope form the all cotton fibers are all lap sheet form of cotton is converted to rope form that is sliver in case of cotton spinning like in linen flax in this process the sheet form of the flax fibers linen fibers are converted to rope form only the thing is to make to reduce the size of the strand or the uniformity the thickness of strand is reduced sliver then sliver is again reduced the thickness of the fiber is reduced to the rowing form. Okay, and rowing is ready to spin the linen yarn. But in this case, the spinning is before the spinning, whatever the back process rowing is process though, no? that is the spinning is taken in a wet form. That is all rowings are passed through the hot water hot water that is wet spinning process the rowings are passed through the hot water 
and then taken further to the drafting that is spinning drafting and spinning drafting twisting and wounding on the bobbins or spools that is wet spinning that is called wet spinning rowings are taken to the wet water only to achieve the cohesiveness why wet crossing is required to achieve cohesiveness for yarn manufacturing the fibers has to add up to each other that is some like say cotton fiber is having a good cohesiveness properties cohesiveness properties in fibers are added to while twisting fibers are added to each other stick to each other and hold each other even half inch cotton half is to 1 inch fibers are holding each other and sticking each other while twisting that cohesiveness property the holding property is there no that results in the strength of the yarn or twist per the twist the strength is there no the twisting while give a twist the fibers are hold that influence on the strength of the yarn but in case of rowing the rowing in case of sorry in case of flax spinning the rowings are passed to the hot water only the purpose of is to produce a even a good quality linen yarn okay that is called wet spinning but if this wet spinning is not done only the dried the dry rowing are processed or spun into a yarn then the chances of unevenness rough yarn production chance are there and rough yarn or uneven yarn production chance there to avoid this unevenness roughness and uh, to give good uniformity and good strength to the yarn wet spinning is preferred okay now of once the linen yarns are spun and bound onto the bobbins the spools bobbins then taken for the reeling in the reeling even the spun yarn it is in the wet form it is a moist tea because the back cross rowing is a wet that's the spinning is done in a wet condition so the whatever the bobbins bound got from the spinning process to the wet condition the moist tea so the moist tea yarns are reeled in a reeling machine then taken for drying then after drying bound for weaving purpose wrap warping or directly these bobbins are taken for warping or for commercial purposes or that can be wound in a particular weight like cones okay to make the cones or bobbins for of a specific weights for commercial selling that is linen reels then up this is how the spinning is done the yarn linen yarns are produced and also uh, in cotton the cotton spun yarns are the fineness of the spun yarns are measured in count english count 840 yards by 1 lb equal to one count that is one count like that in linen or in flax it is the unit of measurement is 300 yards of linen yarn weighing 1 pound or or 450 4 grams is called one cut one cut usually nowadays it is we are using a one li 30 li 40 li but it will be like that here the cut rail is one cut equal to having length of 300 yards and weighing one pound that is unit of measurement of yarn fineness linen yarn fineness this is about the small brief idea on the uh, spinning process in this video we can't go in deep small video clips we can cover the ideas only then i am coming next directly to the global production of flax yarn or linen yarn here 
actually uh, if you as, as per the study actually the origin of linen yarns found in europe countries ireland ireland scotland in that area it is existed the history is saying it is existed in the europe countries later it is transferred to the other countries other countries means france germany italy ukraine belgium okay and other uh, countries also there and other than this the that is what i am given the here list is that is all the europe countries nearby countries but other continents other than europe countries the linen production transfer to canada transfer to russia transfer to china and usa and in india worldwide is transferred the technology wherever the chance of growing is possible flax plant there it is commercialized the main the requirement for cultivation of the flax plant is main is the soil good soil humid moist soil and uh, cool cold and humid condition environment these are the things what i said and plowed soil these are the conditions the land which is meeting the requirement of requirement for the cultivation of the flax plant then that land can fit for growth of the flax plant so whichever the continents whichever are the countries they can produce to make commercialize to grow their economy they have done a good they became a good exporter of flax yarn or linen yarn in such a as countries such a countries are as per 2014 this one survey i taken from the other source okay that is so 2014 survey is saying canada kazakhstan china russia usa india these are the main uh, top exporter of flax yarn canada that is 8,72,500 tons kazakhstan 4,19,957 tons china 3,87,000 like that other story okay and other than this other countries belgium scotland ireland france germany ukraine etc see production any countries any continent can produce flax plant the product quantity can be produced whatever the quantity can be produced but the quality production is very important quality means what fiber quality means what fiber quality means it should have good staple it should have cohesive property it should have good tenacity it should have good luster it should would have good moisture regain properties it should have good what are the elongation elastic recovery there are all the things required those fibers who will meet the end consumer requirement the comfortness of the consumer so fibers are good in such an efforts the countries which are producing good the best fine linen fibers are belgium belgium scotland these are the countries even though they are not in the list of top countries of production but they are good their qualities are good some countries they are their efficiency is more in production of good export the percentage of export globally is more but the quality wise some few countries are quality wise they are very good fine linen production countries are very few fine linen fine linen means very fine 12 microns level such countries are very few in such a countries belgium we heard from we came to know from the study belgium 
uh, is a good one, Scotland and other things. Say, this is how the global survey is saying, but it, this, all these figures or data, what I am saying, this is not a fixed, it, it may vary. Even next year, it may vary. Some countries come up in the higher export level, some countries come down in their rank. It depends upon their climatic conditions or source or local facilities, whatever it is. It may depend. Okay, by this, even we have to study, still more further study is there on linen fibers. These are all the properties of linen fibers, end uses of linen fibers. In the next class, I will complete those properties and the end uses so that there is small explanation brief on linen will course by one more video clip okay please subscribe my channel share and like it please encourage me please support me okay please give comments your support and encouragement will help me thank you